What's that nerd buddy? Boy Big Brando and today let's talk about you sizing up or sizing down your design size based on the t-shirt size that you're pressing on. So as a disclaimer, sorry about the noise in the background, I got some hats running right now. But while that's running, I'm gonna try to knock this video out and knock these t-shirt orders out. Question that I get on TikTok and on YouTube is, if I use a size 3X t-shirt, should I make my design bigger? If I use a size small or medium, should I make my design smaller? Also, if I'm using a 3X t-shirt, should I get a bigger heat press? I'm gonna say no to all of those things. This is a 15 by 15 heat press. I use the same size transfers on size small and medium that I would use on a size 3X. Now, what you have to remember is a traditional screen printer burns one screen and prints every size t-shirt with that one screen. They don't size up the screen, they don't size down the screen. They don't change out different screens based on the size. That's just more money, more labor, more time. They create that one design in a certain size, burn that one screen, and then they print all the t-shirt offerings, size small to 3X, 4X, whatever it is, off of that one screen. So it should be no different for us using a heat press. So I make sure that all my designs are sized to fit a size small, and fit a size 3x these are the sizes that i offer for my brand if you don't offer a 3x don't worry about a 3x if you don't offer size small don't worry about size small if you just offer medium to double x so be it so to answer that question no i do not size up my design based on the t-shirt size i use the same size transfer for all the t-shirt offerings also there's no set design size some of my designs are six inches, some of them are 12 inches, some of my designs are eight by eight, some of them are 10 by 10. It just all depends on what visually looks good to myself, so there's no set design size. And when it comes to press size and t-shirt size, it doesn't matter. I use a 15 by 15 for everything that I do because none of my designs are bigger than 15 inches. So it doesn't matter the size of the t-shirt that I'm laying on, it all depends on the actual size of the transfer. All right, now that this hat is done, I'm gonna hoop up the next one and then take the camera and show you guys the heat press. All right, hopefully this is in focus right here. Size large t-shirt, size large all style t-shirt. I pull the corner of the armpits down to make sure it's even all the way around. Pre-press. Get that moisture out, flatten out the t-shirt. Here's the transfer we're using. This is super color transfer. This is the design I'm wearing right now. LA with the chucks on it. Four fingers down from the collar. And I'm going off of the peak in the collar straight down. Three twenty-one, sixteen seconds on the press. This is a 15 by 15 signature pro heat press from Heat Press Nation. Hot peel. We're gonna press it down one more time. Right after I peel it off. Teflon sheet held on with refrigerator magnet clips. These things you could get on Amazon, you could get them wherever you want, Walmart, Target, doesn't matter. The reason I use the Teflon sheet on top is because it buffers out the static. If I didn't use that, the backing of the transfer would get stuck to the top. So flip the shirt over. Same exact thing, pull the armpits down till it feels even on both sides. Hang the collar all the way over the edge. Here's the back print. Once again, this is a size large t-shirt. Hot peel. And then we're gonna press it down one more time. The reason we press it down after that initial peel is because the owner of Supercolor told me to do that. So since he told me to do that, I always do it and I had no issues with my transfers whatsoever. Whether it locks it in, whether it holds it down, whether it flattens it out, who knows? Back print. There it is right there. Let me show you the same process with the same transfers, same press on a 3X all style t-shirt. Same press, 3X t-shirt, obviously it's a lot bigger. Same rules apply for everything. Pull the armpits down to make sure it's nice and even on both sides. Pre-press the t-shirt. 
Here's the same transfer. This is the left chest print, same one that I'm wearing, same one I just pressed on the large shirt, same one that's going on this 3X shirt. Same rules apply, four fingers down. Peak in the collar, straight down. That's where I'm gonna center up the design. Four fingers down. Press. Here we go, hot peel. Repress it again. Guessing it's locking it in, sealing it up, whatever you wanna call it. I have no idea what this does, but since the owner from Supercolor told me to do this, I do it with every Supercolor transfer now, and I have no issues with them. Three X T-shirt. Let's do the back. Same exact thing. Hang the collar over the edge. This is gonna go as close as possible to the top that I could get it. Boom. Three twenty-one sixteen seconds. People say why three twenty-one? When I tested out the wash test for these transfers, three twenty-one with the Teflon sheet worked perfect for me. So if it works perfect for me and they hold up in the wash, I don't change up the settings. Repress it again. Some people are gonna say, does 320, 321 make a difference? Yes, it does. To me, it does. When I do the wash test, I use the same exact settings that hold up in the wash. And I make sure I use that every single time. There you go. Now, back print. On a 3X t-shirt, same exact thing as it was on the large t-shirt. Same exact transfers, same exact press. I don't switch up the size of the design or my press size based on the t-shirt size that I use. So as you can see, left chest print, four fingers down. From the peak in the collar, centered up, lands on the heart every single time. Let's get a little close-up action here. This city don't love you check out the inside for the people that were curious if you could do photographs with super color transfer those are photographs inside the text see the Watts Towers that Impala Randy's Donuts Dodger Stadium downtown LA Staples Center Harley and the Venice Beach sign all inside of there get a close-up of the actual chrome in the Impala the chrome and the fish tails of that soft tail chrome in the spokes detail is in there this is a super color transfer you see it all right there you have it so i do not resize my designs based on the t-shirt size that i'm doing i use the same size design on every t-shirt offering that i use and also once again there is no set design size i design everything based on visually what i want it to look like some designs are four inches some designs are 12 inches whatever i think visually looks good that's how i design stuff how do i figure that out i take a piece of tape and i tape it on to the t-shirt then i look at the t-shirt and say all right that's where i want it to lay that's how i want it to look so i measure out those dimensions with the piece of tape and then i design to those exact dimensions so there's going to be people like hey what's the size of that back print i think it's like 13 inches 13 inches by like six size of this front one is like four inches by five inches or something like that hopefully that helps somebody out out there hopefully it shows you guys how i laid down these left chest prints like i said four fingers down from the point of the collar go straight down boom lands on the heart every single time remember t-shirts look way different when they're laying on the table versus draped on the body if you got any questions about what i just did let me know in the comments for everybody asking i'm using super color transfers these are the wearable transfers for the back print i use the biggest one possible i think that one goes up to 16 inches and then also for the front print i think i use the one that's right above four by four so the one that's like five by something else is the one that i use for the front the back is the biggest one that they offer links in the description box links to buy this t-shirt links to buy super color transfers links to use the same exact heat press that i use all in the description box all right don't forget follow me on instagram if you wanted to catch you guys on the next one man yeah